Hello, this is Kelly from SkyServe. I wanted to address a question that came up in some of the comments, and uh, it has to do with filtering out the noise that you see often when you have water present on a job site. So photogrammetry is not the best tool for getting the location uh, of water. It comes up really noisy. So here's an example um, on how you might get rid of all this noise uh, easily without a lot of manual editing. So what I do is I right click in the area, filter photos by point. What that'll do is if you go to your photos tab, it'll show you just the photos that contain that, that pixel that you clicked on. So I'm going to try to find a photo that happens to show this entire pond. Uh, next step under selection, instead of a rectangle selection, which is actually the default, Go down to this magic wand tool and then you'll be able to click anywhere in that area showing the water and you can add that to a selection this creates a mask uh, if you want to further grab additional points you can hold down the control button and that will add uh, additional parcels here to to your selection so you have to be careful because it will actually go overboard at times and go into your project site Especially when you have a lot of uh, when you have a lot of uh, similar color, you know this is really looking for color differences. So normally water is quite a bit darker in this case. There's a lot of silt silt in the water. So I'm going to select that area. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the selection. Now when you go back to your dense cloud view, uh, you can go up to tools, dense cloud, and then filter by um, or sorry, select by masks. So here you go. You can see I only have one photo shown here with masks. Um, edge softness is something you can select if you wanted to um, gather more or less data around the edges. So I'm going to go to OK. It's going to actually take everything that shows up in that uh, in that photo and in kind of a uh, top above that and below that. So you do have to be careful if you're looking at oblique imagery. I've had this cut off a, a fair amount of things that I didn't intend to uh, with oblique imagery, but on Nader imagery, you, you should be pretty safe with this kind of a selection. So it takes a little bit of time to, to uh, select these points, uh, but in this time, I'd, I'd just welcome you guys to comment below. And if you want to see additional videos on other subjects, uh, please state those in the comments and I'll, I'll try my best to create more videos when I have time. Um, I appreciate the subscriptions and, and the likes to these videos and if you think this would be useful to somebody else, feel free to share it. Okay, that took about a minute to complete um, the, the selection. So now you can see all these points within that, that uh, water all this noise is is selected so now i could just go ahead and delete that and, and now that cleaned up that whole area um, so if i had any uh, hydrographic data i could fill that in here or at least get rid of that noisy data so that's what i have today um, thanks a lot for tuning in and hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed the video thank you